Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to install Visual Studio 2022 for Windows 10 machine. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can install the Visual Studio 2022 community version on your Windows machine. So let's jump to the demo. So before installing the Visual Studio 2022, first you need to download it from the Microsoft site. So you need to open your web browser here. So I can open Chrome and maybe I can open the google.com and then I, I can type download Visual Studio 2022 okay so you can open the first website visualstudio.microsoft.com so just click on this one so on the home screen you can see an option here download Visual Studio so there are three options available Visual Studio Community 2022 Professional and Enterprise so to use the professional and enterprise versions you need to purchase the license for them but community license is free uh, because it is for the development purpose and for individual code development so I can click on the community 2022 so it has started a basic download so an small exe file has been downloaded here and I can just click on this particular exe file and yes so soon it will start a download for the visual studio 2022 so I can just minimize this particular URL so it is going to open the Visual Studio installer so I can click on continue and it is saying that getting the Visual Studio installer ready so the installer will be ready in a minute so you can wait for a minute so under workloads there are different options here like what kind of applications you want to work on for example ASP.NET and web development, Azure development, Python development, mobile development and etc. so on the right side there is an option .NET desktop development as well so maybe you can click on this particular one because we might be creating the some C sharp and visual basic console app and windows app as well okay and if you scroll down so there is an option here uh, data storage and processing so for example if you are going to work with like SSIS packages or SSRS reports then maybe you can click on this particular checkbox as well so that it will install the SQL server data tools as well okay so as of now I will select this option data storage and processing and the .NET desktop development okay so I will select these two options and if you see total space required is 7.23 GB on the location whatever location is given here so if you see at the moment it is pointing to my C program files Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 community this folder okay so it needs around 8 GB of space from my C drive so if you think that the storage is available in the C drive then you can let the installation continue and if you think that you don't have the enough space available in your C drive and if you want to do the installation in another drive like maybe in D drive or E drive then you can change the installation path but at the moment I have the enough storage in my C drive so I will let the installation continue so I can click on install now it will start downloading the data from the internet and then at the same time it will also start doing the installation as well so if you see that the total data that is being downloaded from the internet it is 1.99 GB so it's close to 2 GB that will be downloaded and at the same time it will also do the installation as well so it will take some time to do the installation so maybe I can pause the video for a minute until the installation is successful and then I can just show you the Visual Studio 2022 so the download is 100% successful and installation is at 99% so it might take another a minute or two to just finish the installation and then we can continue on this one all right so the installation has successful and the visual studio 2022 is being started yeah so it is asking me to sign in but maybe i can click on not now maybe later now there are different themes like dark blue light so i normally prefer the blue or light so maybe i can click on blue and i can click on start visual studio so it is showing my older program those I developed inside Visual Studio 2019 so I can click on create a new project so on the right side it is showing me the templates on which I can create the project so there are different options here like Windows Form App and WPF application so if you scroll down further then you will find the different apps here so maybe I can create a C Sharp console app for .NET framework so I can select this option and I can click on next and now inside the project name you can give the project name maybe I can call it like my first app 
and now inside the location you can give the folder location where you want to create your project but I will leave the project as it is and now inside the framework it is showing you the different dotnet frameworks available on your machine so you can select the whatever framework you want so I will leave the default setting as it is and I can click on create so this will create a blank project for me the blank C sharp console app alright so the default blank C sharp console app has been created here and you can write your code here inside the main method so maybe I can write like console dot write line and uh, I can write like this is my first app inside visual studio 2022 and the semicolon and then I can write console dot read key alright so let me execute the program and it should display a message that this is my first step inside visual studio 2022 and then it will wait for a key yeah so it has printed the message <laughs> so I think this is the first step and you can start writing your code inside the visual studio 2022 so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.